I'm a little worried about these guys when I kill David here. They're, are they going to be able to get me in the air? Oh, yeah. Oh. He goes, hey, when I kill David, are these guys going to be able to throw me? Because I want to get thrown. Okay, hey, notice. Guys, I'm on the phone for a minute because I think the phone's kind of important. Are we going into winter? Yeah? Okay, cool. Foot traffic will slow down a little bit. The phones are going to increase, I assure you, okay? Phones are going to continue to increase. Certainty. That's what I want. I want to hear that in your voice when you're speaking. David, here's what we're going to do. I'm on the phone with you. I'm like, hey, David, thank you so much for giving me all the information on the 2018 F-150. I saw it online for $29.9. By the way, what's your best price? Sorry, good. Andy. Thank you so much for calling in about and asking for that. I'm very excited. To... What we do here is actually market-based pricing. So we actually use very expensive software that prices all our vehicles for us. And in Ken Garf, we actually have the process that we... So what we actually do, we actually, it prices all our cars for us. That we were price number one, number two, or number three in the market to offer our best price. We're a high volume store that honestly we offer our best price for our customer. Did I offend you in any way by offering our best price? Mm. Good job. All right. All right. Nathan said he was going to take his soul, right? All right, Nathan. Hey, thank you so much for giving me the information on the 2018 F-150. I sold online for $29.9. By the way, what's going to be your best price? Hey, Andy. Thank you so much for calling in today and asking about that Ford. It's been a great vehicle. I absolutely love these. You chose an awesome truck here. Um, what I want to tell you here is I'm so sorry as I've been talking on the phone that I have not explained how our pricing works. So we have a very nice system, very expensive system that compares all of our market prices for our vehicles so that I start with my best foot forward and give you the best price right out the gate. So that way I don't have to waste your time when you come in here and you can get home, you can get doing things with your life. Nobody wants to spend all day at the car dealership, but that way I get you my best price. And if I've offended you in any way by getting that price for you out front, let me know and I'll see what I can do to help you out better. Okay, good job. Listen guys, number one, give a round of applause. Okay, all right. All right, now listen, I want everybody to do me a favor. By the way, these guys both did a good job, okay? They both did a good job. Everybody, just write this down on a piece of paper real quick and, and then I'll go over this. Write down good, great, and unstoppable, okay? Okay, I need this to always stay with you until the end of time, okay? Good, great, and unstoppable. These three words are the words that I've preached my entire life that there's three levels of people, okay? And the goal is, is that, that they did a good job. That was a good job, okay? They didn't say, well, we, you know, that is our best price. The worst thing you could ever say on a phone pop is when someone says, hey, what's your best price? And you say, that is my best price. When you say that is my best price, let me explain what it is that you're saying. You're saying that you're unwilling to work with them. Do you hear me? Okay, I know that you may have a store that doesn't they put online, like one-stop shop, whatever, right? That's the price you see, the price you pay. You tell them that's the price they see, that's the price they pay. Do you think last time they bought a car, they got a little bit of a dealing? Maybe, right? Do you think when they're picking up the phone that they may really love your vehicle? And that's why they're asking the question, what's your best price? Because it's a freaking buying question. I think so. The way you handle that buying question will be whether they get in their car and they come down. Well, I'm asking you right now, what's your best price? I'm getting my opportunity to hear what a dealing is going to look like with you. You ever thought about it that way? It's really the first time that the, the customer is getting a taste of what a negotiation is going to even be like with you. Are you going to give them a bad taste or a good one? And by the way, you say you're going to give them a good one, but it can only be a good one if your words are on point. Okay? Does that make sense? So let's do this. Good, great, and unstoppable. I only want unstoppable. I give a word track on this one that is unstoppable. The goal is, is that there's a couple things that you have to have. You have to have massive certainty. You have to have massive believability, right? And you have to have a little bit of like belief in yourself that the customer can feel. Does everybody know what the term definition uh, persuasion means? It means transfer of emotion, right? And can I say something real quick before we handle the word track? Do you guys know that if the customer doesn't like you, they'll ask objections like this? Mmm, let's think about that real quick, okay? Guy calls on a 2018 F-150, I'm like, oh my God, man, I'm gonna tell you this right now. One to 10, this truck's an 11. Look, we get tons of pre-owned inventory, guys. It's a 2018, it's got 36,000 miles. If I walk down here and cover the odometer, you'd literally think it had zero miles on it. You're gonna be mind blown. Look, when the guy traded it in, there was literally three sets of formats. Let me ask you a question. You know a lot of people in life. You know anybody driving around with three sets of formats in their truck? I don't think so. That's called massive OCD. 
right? NASA, the guy that owned this truck, I think he had it, okay? And guess what? When I walked outside, I thought it was a brand new truck nobody's ever drove, but I turned it on. It's got 36,000 miles on it. When I drove it, I took it 85 down the highway. Don't be mad at me for that, but I took my hands off the highway, uh, off the steering wheel, and it literally doesn't pull, vibrate, shake, or nothing. It's the nicest truck I've ever seen in my life. So nice, I actually called my wife. I don't need a truck, and I asked her, could we buy one? So the truck you're calling on, sir, the one that I have, if I had 100 of these, I could sell 100 in a day. That truck is still available, but let me answer your price question. Bam. You guys feel that? I really don't give a shit what you say now. I want to see this truck. Does that make sense? Am I right? How do you sound on the phone? If I called your store right now and I hit you, hey, is this vehicle still available? By the way, we're going to do phone training after lunch. You guys will be ready. I'm not going to let you out of here today until you're great. But I'm going to tell you something, right? Is that how you sound on the phone? And by the way, if you could sound that way, would you sell more cars? The good deal is you can sound that way. I just told you how to sound. You see, here's the test. Here's the answers to the test. It's that easy. You just got to be consciously paying attention. But there has to be a word track that you can say after treating somebody great. Does that make sense? Okay, let's hear what that word track would be. And you've heard me say it a million times, but I'm going to say this. If I've said it a million times, are you consciously listening where you can say it? Right? You should, right? Okay, one of my coaches. I don't care who does it. Anybody. Who would handle it? Danny, you got it? I'll say, hey, I'm so glad you asked that. Our company uses what's called market-based pricing. And research shows that 90% of our customers don't want to negotiate and haggle and want to get the best price up front. It's 2021, it's the age of transparency. That's why I use very expensive and accurate tools that find vehicles like ours in the marketplace right now. Then those tools actually price our vehicles for us to ensure we're always priced below market. And according to the stats on this particular vehicle, we're actually priced below market. But not only are we great at price, but we're actually high in all the critical areas important to you and your family, like price, payments, and trade-ins. By the way, would you be trading in a vehicle with us today? That's it, he, he diverted. Okay.